Hi, Cormac here. Inspired by the new device from Razer Studios, the PVX Multimode Vocoder, I wrote a disco song, a robotic disco song, with some lyrics, a Zen Robo Disco Song. Since it quickly became a complex affair, we'll go fast on the instrumental parts and focus on the vocal parts, which were all processed in different ways by the BBX Multimode Vocoder. Let's get started. Let's begin with a pad with some internal movement that is progressively opened up by a low pass filter and a handful of sound effects that make you think of something organic and alien at the same time. And now it's book order time. But first, let's write a couple of lines between science fiction and Zen. Let's start recording. While driving in a moonless night. Okay, now I know that purists never use prisons, but I think it's silly to snap the work done by people who not only know more than I do, but also build the device I'm using. So here's the patch that does the trick. The name says it all. Pretty vintage. We don't get very far from the route, after all, we're only at the introduction. Let's fix the attack times a bit. Done. Once driving in a moonless night, in a heartbeat, you may happen to find that the answer always was in plain sight. Now, this intro is an homage to the product of one of the best albums of 1981. 10 points for guessing which one. Time for a precursor. We use the same course as in the intro, but at twice the speed. We are doing a disco song after all, and disco is for dancing. Let's use a simple but effective algorithm for the chords. And a not too aggressive lead with some modulation. Now we record four words that will be the leitmotif of the song. Dreaming, failing, hoping, rising. We put them at the beginning of each bar. Here again, we play it safe. Very vintage, it's just the sound we're looking for. Dreaming, failing. We're putting a bass line with outlaw bass by door. You can't sound bad even if you try. We'll talk with the precursor too. Recipe for a curse. Instrumental foundation. One, add a new round of chords, 16 bars, again with algorithm. Two, let's use a realistic bass this time with this nice baseline generator patch that I wrote just for an occasion like this. Three, add a little guitar working the 16th with a border used as a octaver and spice it up with some guitar amplifier. Four, Kong, kick and snare. Rooted to independent mixer channels. For the hi-hats, we use a patch of huge and solid. Let's give this disco song a live feel. Six, counterpoint brass. To taste. Voila! Let's sample it for later, it'll come in handy.
For the section we were writing, I'd like the vocal part to be more intelligible than the ultra vintage vocoder we used before. There are a bunch of instruments playing all over the frequency spectrum, so there's a risk you won't understand what we're saying at all. Unlike the dear old BB-512, the BB-X has an autoplay function in addition to an FFT mode. We'll use just that. This should give us both speech clarity and fast note allocation without having to write a line in sequencer. Since one of my qualities is not being a good singer, we'll use two scales to help us. Let's put the D minor scale with the addition of C sharp. In this patch, we use this wavetable for the synth, a slightly darker format, compensated for by a small boost from the transfer curve. Let's eliminate the frequencies that get too muddy with the other instruments. For this vocoder patch, the mix will have the audible carrier to give some support to the long vowels, and will also leave a little dry signal for greater intelligibility of the text. We increase the spectral spread so that we have the dry in the middle and the vocoder at the size of our stereo space. A bit of unison and reverb. Let's program some movement into the metrics. The level of the vocal input will cause the waveform to change by 50%. And when there is no singing, we reduce the carrier level to zero. In addition, we put a little decay in when VivaX receives consonants so that they resonate a little longer. Let's hear it. I'd say that's it. For the verse, we use the same instruments as for the pre-chorus, only we replace the algorithm with an arpeggio made by Layers Wave Edition. For the vocoder part, we will once again modify a BBX preset, Vox Order 2. We'll add a little dry signal for clarity, turn the format towards a deeper tone, as well as lower the synth by an octave. Stillness and time. Perfect. For the last eight bars, we'll double the melody line by forming simple chords, as if singer and vocalist were singing the same melody. To the bridge and see what will forever be. Now, we could repeat the verse once and the chorus twice and call it a day. But since we've sampled the first eight bars of the chorus, we've got material for a bridge, a special, a breakdown, you name it. Mimic is ready and the slides are already optimized on the bass drum and snare drum attacks. Let's give a French touch to this disco stuff. Let's make first a phrase that maintains a certain level of dynamism. And then another more hypnotic section. Hey Guy, Thomas, ce truc ça roule pas mal, hein? We've got enough room for some more vocoder. Let's make up some of the lyrics from the verse and change the synth melody. More than decent. Now we can move towards the conclusion. We will repeat the chorus twice but the second time, we cut the main vocal in half and use a nice feature of the baby X, the hold button. Let's look for a point towards the end of the second verse where there is a clear vowel and play with the semitones. Here we put a shift from semitone to semitone to emulate the natural portamento of the human voice.
Let's reuse the mimic loop from earlier. A final chord. And then Robodisco, it's served. Thanks for watching.